Are you ready to go out of this world today, Internet? Because Color Farty's back for the next episode of DuckTales, and we're going to the moon. Praise be to God on this fantastic day. Most people think the moon is the best level. It's pretty cool, but I do have a few problems with it. Anyways, we're going to the moon. It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Hop, hop, and away! <laughs> And that is absolutely beautiful. Yep, we're hunting a green cheese this time, which apparently has um, age-reducing properties. Just go with it. And yep, we're going to be meeting aliens today. Aliens that look a bit like octopi. Mr. McDuck, mm. I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Eh? Yeah. How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And you to take a feather brain like you to believe her. Oh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who can give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? <laughs> we do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Yes, please. This is the music that pretty much everybody adores from the game. It's pretty awesome. But I personally like the Amazon and Himalayan themes better. But it's still amazing. We also have robot ducks. Oh yeah. I didn't get to be number one by back and boom. Ouch. Yeah, I'm not really sure who Fenton is. I've never seen him in the Donald Duck comics, and I haven't watched DuckTales, so I don't really know who he is. Not that you really need to know. Why, that looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Yeah, one of the, my biggest complaints with the moon is that you spend most of your time in this spaceship and not actually on the moon. I have a bit of a problem with that. Those electric things on the ceiling do damage you, so be careful of that. And we've got these force fields in our paths. We'll have to find some way to deactivate them. Blast me bagpipes! A piece of Gizmo Duck suit! Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Looks like the Gizmo Duck suit has been divided into pieces. This is kind of a collectathon, so that makes sense. Eh, thank you. Yeah, I thought there would be a gem there. Why are there rats on this spaceship? Oh, there's Fenton. Well, that was simple. Get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. 
Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Phantom, you're a genius. <laughs> Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Nope. Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no, you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. So this is literally the only part of the stage where we actually have no gravity. We have complete free movement over Scrooge. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck! Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit! Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. Scrooge doesn't trust anybody to do his own work. Also, Scrooge, you really have to stop being so rude to people. Oh, you see that boulder down there? Da -da 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 -da, we got a one up. The spaceship is huge. Like, there's so many places to explore here. Ho ho! Yeah, that's what I was trying to get. So then we got treasure down here. There's also more treasure under here. But again, the electricity hurts you unless you're pogoing on it. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, they're just giving one-ups out like they're candy. This is amazing. I feel like hard mode is almost easier than normal mode, just because of the sheer amount of one-ups you get. At least it's easier if you um, have already played normal mode. How do you like that? The final level in particular is going to be a lot more manageable. Out of my way. That's it. I must say the moon has quite a decent amount of money considering there are no diamonds that are supposed to be on it. Look how huge the moon is! It's... ridiculous. Now that's what I call a ruby! Ow! Gizmo Duck! Gizmo Duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? <laughs> now, Gizmo Duck. Only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. Also, I totally forgot the NES stages, you are timed for them. Granted, they're also a lot shorter, but... Alright, now we can explore this floor. Really? That's it? <laughs> Those are disappointingly low amounts of gems. Catch me if you can. Also notice that tiny little chain up there? Yep. We can climb up. Mrs. Bigley, what are you doing here? I thought you might get hungry, Mr. McDuck, so I baked you a little something. You baked me ice cream and a scooch doll. You're your weight in gold, Mrs. Bigley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh, of course. But I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. Fair enough. <laughs> that 
<laughs> Disappointing to me about gem for a treasure chest. The moon can be a bit of a tough stage if you're not uh, careful. It might be the toughest stage just because I feel like the Amazon's not as tough as the moon is. But it's still very tough. Rocket punch robot ducks. What next? Always check for hidden stuff. Waka waka, it's a treasure. Where does the where does this lead? Aha! Another hidden area. Fat alien, get out of here. Yeah, like, see, like, this is the moon, but we've barely actually, like, done anything on the moon. It's all been in the spaceship. Another one up? This is the third one on this level. <laughs> My goodness. I didn't get to be number one by back and doom. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Oh, that's how you're carrying it. One more path to find, and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Indeed. Do 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 do. Oh, no, you don't. It's such a simple theme, but it's so good. Okay, I've already been that way. Yeah, at this point, I can't remember which ways I've gone and which ways I have not. That's where the map really comes in handy. All right. That's Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. It shouldn't be. Yeah, the reason that the barriers are gone now is because we disarmed the security system with Fenton. In case the people forgot. Now this first floor, I didn't really explore at all. And after all, isn't that what it's all about, Scrooge? More money for your money bin? Ouch. Yeah, if we keep trying to go farther to the right, we're gonna reach a solid wall in our path, and that's why we need the Gizmo Duck suit to destroy it. Right here. No, we can't go over there, unfortunately, even though it looks like we should be able to. <laughs> I like how it has the little cheese symbol on it to be like, yes, the cheese is hidden here. <laughs> that was too close. Alright, just one little bit of the spaceship we have not explored yet. 
It's over on the left. One billion one. One billion two. Oh no, my ruby. Well, it's gone now. The moon is the stage you probably make the least amount of money on. At least just in terms of the gems you collect on the level. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite $2 bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. What? But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh, hey! <laughs> Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. Oh ho! I still don't understand why he definitely wants to keep it a secret from Gyro. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. Uh, Gyro, finders keepers, actually. <laughs> I don't think Scrooge will notice. So now we've got uh, Fenton and Gizmo Duck suit following us, and he will blast enemies out of the way for us. That is, if we don't stamp on their heads first. Well, that wasn't very nice. Oh, Gizmo's, Gizmo Duck is still farther in the level. Yeah, I don't understand this whole Gizmo Duck thing. It's like Gyro built the suit, then put it on. Why does Scrooge want to keep it a secret? Nice work, Fenton. How dare you? <laughs> Come on, keep up. You've got a unicycle wheel. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. That's a lot of fighting power. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmo Duck. No. Where, where did they come from? Ah, Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Scrooge, you can ah. deal with it and them yourself. And now, unfortunately, Fenton does not kill Glomgold. <laughs> That would be too dark. But now we're in the depths of the moon, and it's pretty pretty. That sounded bad. It's very beautiful. I forgot how long the moon stage is. Yeah, that just screamed there was going to be a chest in midair. air. 
And of course there's going to be an invisible wall somewhere around here that we can get the hidden treasure art from. Man, the Beagle Boys are terrible at finding the treasure. They're all going the wrong way. Or they're just trying to stop me. But that, that's ridiculous. Scrooge has six extra lives. Oh, I think it's... Up here, yep. Got lots of gems. What's in here? Oh, a solid block of gold. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you just get a knack for finding the invisible treasures after you play it for a little bit. I thought that was a bug crawling on the screen. Nope, that's just the background. <laughs> I think it would be cool if you had, like, low gravity, so extra good jumps on the moon. That would make the level a lot harder, but it would also be pretty cool. And be merry. I made it here first. Somehow. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. So now we get a boss against the uh, mutated rat. It's an interesting fight. Not too bad. Yeah, and it can warp around. When it's warping around, just stay here. If it if it tries warping right above you, you can just walk out of the way. Like so. Pretty simple. One of the easier bosses in the game, I'd say. Ironically, I'm more afraid of it when it's not doing its green teleporting powers. This boss music reminds me of Deep Blob music. Deep Blob has an amazing soundtrack. Well, Scrooge, can you still sell the cheese for a lot? Oh, what? I died! Oh, no. Can Scrooge still sell the cheese for a ton if it's not, like, the Fountain of Youth? <laughs> this game is so fun. If if this game looks fun, it is way more fun than it looks. Ah, oh, that was that was dumb of me. Ah, that's dumb. The rat's being quite rude. Still not done, huh? The rat might have the most HP then. Children and billionaires first. <laughs> Children and billionaires first. I'm not sure that's how it works. <laughs> Ow. There we go. We knocked the cheese out of him. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, 
Nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green that's going to make me. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Scrooge. Thank goodness it's still in one piece. We beat the stage. All right. That's the five main stages down. Oh, I love that course. I love, like, all the courses in this. Maybe not the last one a whole lot, but the last one's still pretty cool. Ho ho ho, how much money are we going to make from this level? A million? Another million for the green cheese. Uh, we got a hidden treasure at the giant block of gold, so that's another million. We get 500,000 for playing on hard mode. Now, is that going to give us 20 million? We have 20 million. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 20 million dollars. We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine! <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough. But these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, McDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? What the heck are you doing here? <laughs> Magic a dispel! Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm! Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon! Sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Black a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh, greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Vladstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to summon him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see, with power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. Ooh, interesting. Unless, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. <laughs> the first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Gimses are hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> that seems unnecessary. Now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home and mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. That lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures fair and square. This is no time for belly aching, Domgold. I've got to save those boys. Pah, forget it. That she devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. 
Without your dime, I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability. And I'm gonna be the richer for it. Hmm. Oh, go soak your head. Interesting. Oh, that just takes us straight to the last level? No, 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 we don't have time for that. We have run out of time for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Hope to see you for the last episode next time. Have a great day, and God bless.